Tiger Woods is attempting yet another comeback and has chosen his own tournament, the Hero World Challenge, to return to competitive action. The Golf Hall of Famer is all involved in negotiations to end golf civil war as part of his role as player director on the PGA Tours policy board. Wood spoke exclusively to Beyond Sports Editor Digvijay Singh Deo. Listen in. The eyes of the sporting world are here on Albany because of the Hero World Challenge. Tiger Woods is making a comeback and to use a golfing term when that happens, it elevates the tournament's profile and it becomes a global can't miss. Tiger, thank you uh, for your time. Now, you were very honest with us when you spoke to us in 2021. Mm -hmm. You spoke about uh, how your life is going to be going mm -hmm. forward. Surgeries, rehab, that's sort of part of your daily routine now. Uh, but this time that you've sort of spent away from golf, has it made you appreciate what it means to be competitive again? And on the flip side, mm -hmm. has it allowed you to spend more time in your son's uh, development as a golfer? Well, I think being at home has allowed me to be a part of both my kids' lives. Now, as a competitive player, I want to come back and compete and play. And um, as I was explaining in, in 21, you know, that, what that looks like, um, eventually, I'm not going to be able to play that many events. And as I was explaining in there earlier, is that I was going to have to have this ankle fused or replaced either way. Um, I kind of pushed the limit part a little bit too fast, and uh, it went. And... Um, had a very successful uh, subtalar fusion, and uh, the hard part was it's not the surgery. That's that's the easy part, uh, but it's the boringness, you know, post and just laying there doing nothing for the bone to fuse. Uh, that's the hard part. Uh, but now here comes the exciting part on the flip side of it, is now I get to experience this again. Uh, I get to be able to come out here and compete um, against these guys again, and I, I missed it. Okay, it's a it's an exciting time, especially from a media point of view, mm -hmm. uh, but. When, you, when you're looking at players, their interests, do you feel professional golf today is in a much better space than it was last year when we spoke about how there was the schism? But do you now feel that there is some sort of roadmap ahead for everyone to benefit? I think there is. Um, I think that now that the players have control of the board and we have, to ha we have our involvement um, and our direct involvement uh, to get any kind of deal done going forward, um, this is our tour and uh, we're going to run it that, that way and um, not to say that we're not going to take advice from um, critical people and that, that's that's our job, that's our responsibility, our fiduciary responsibility. Um, but our, our responsibility is to make sure the tour gets better and uh, we have uh, ab abilities for all kids coming up um, and also the abilities to take care of uh, the the, the people that drive eyeballs to our sport. Um, these players invest their lives in, in playing the sport and we want to make sure that they're taken care of.